Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, we're going to talk about changes to the graphical interface in Rel8 Beta. Rel8 Beta defaults to the GNOME shell interface with the Wayland display server. It also has the GNOME Classic interface and the X11 display server available as an option, and I'll show you how to get to that here in a little bit. From GNOME Shell, you launch applications from the Activities menu, which you can get to by either clicking on Activities, or you can press the Super key on the keyboard, which is the key between the left, Alt, and Control keys on your keyboard. Along the left, you'll have a list of frequently used applications that you can click on, or if you look on the dots, you can see um, All Applications, or you can click on Frequent to see Frequent Applications. You can also right-click on an application and click Add to Favorites, and that will add the application over on the, the menu on the left. You can go ahead and click on an application to start it. And if you go back to Activities, you'll notice that there's a little blue dot that indicates that the application is running. You can also launch applications from the Activities menu by simply starting to type in the application name. For example, I'll go ahead and type in Firefox here, and it'll bring up that, and I can click on it or press Enter to launch that application. Now if I go to the Activities menu, I'll see a list of all the applications running. From the Activities menu, if you look over on the right, you'll notice that there's different windows shown. This is your GNOME workspaces, and you can simply drag and drop applications into separate workspaces, and workspaces are dynamically created. If you go to Activities, you can click on these different workspaces to switch between them, or you can use the Super key plus Page Up or Page Down to automatically switch between these virtual workspaces. If you'd like to make some changes to the GNOME interface, you can also install the GNOME Tweaks package and then go ahead and go to the Activities menu and type Tweaks and go ahead and click on the application here. And this will let you make several modifications to the GNOME environment. We'll start by going down to the uh, Windows section here. And from here, you're able to enable Minimize and Maximize buttons on your Windows if you'd like that. We'll go ahead and turn that off so it's back on the default settings. You can also go up to the extensions menu here and it's possible to turn on a window list so you have a list of windows down at the bottom that you can switch between. And I'll go ahead and switch that back off and go ahead and close out these windows. You also from the top here can click on the, the date and time to see a calendar and notifications. And then over on the right hand side here you can do things like shut down the server, lock the screen, and we're gonna go ahead and log out at this point and we're going to look at some of the other options that are available from the login screen here. So if you click on this little gear icon here, you can see that we have several options available. We were just in the standard Wayland display server, and now we're going to look at the standard X11 display server. So we'll go ahead and select that, and then type in the password, and log in. Once we get logged in, you're not going to really see a difference from a user's perspective. That's because most of the changes between Wayland and X11 are in the background. However, there are some graphical applications that rely on X11. So if you have a graphical application that's not working properly in Wayland, sometimes it's worth a try to try it in this X11 mode. All right, we're going to go ahead and log out here. And we're going to click on the username here. And now we're going to look at the classic Wayland uh, display server option. So we'll go ahead and type in the password for the account here and click on the login button. And what this is going to do is bring up the GNOME Classic interface, which looks very similar to the RHEL 7 GNOME Classic interface that was the default in RHEL 7. You can see that we have minimize and maximize buttons by default here. We have a toolbar at the bottom listing the windows. And we have the familiar interface up in the upper left-hand corner where we can easily launch applications. One important note is that the KDE interface is no longer supported on RHEL 8 beta. I hope you get a chance to try out Rel8 Beta, as well as try out the GNOME Standard Interface, which is the default, and also the GNOME Classic Interface that is available. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope you have a great day today.